Hey and good morning and welcome to uh, my channel Trucker Rudy here. I'm just uh, waking up here in uh, Portage, Wisconsin. Just uh, gonna have me some breakfast here real quick. So I have some cereal down here. I always go with the uh, multi-grain uh, cereal there because uh, I uh, like them the best. They, they taste real good to me at least so all right, stay tuned. Uh, we'll put uh, put everything together here for today and see what kind of interesting things we see today. Right on Kenya Road. Alrighty, just leaving the uh, <coughs> Patro here in uh, Portage, Wisconsin. Going to try and make it down to uh, Lebanon, Indiana tonight. This patch already uh, sent me a message here saying that we're uh, that I am just to uh, do a trailer switch up there and. Uh, Head back home to uh, Steinbeck, Manitoba. So. In 1,000 feet, turn left on WI-78. All right. I don't know if you can see the statue there to the right, but that's pretty good looking. Always interesting things that you get to see when you're driving down the road, you know. It looks pretty cool, those hills up, the, up ahead there on the highway there. Nice and green. Bad, it's gonna be summer pretty uh, summer is gonna be over pretty soon you know and then everything will be white oh, looks like the scale wants me to come in they uh, told me to come and enter They're fishing for somebody to pull them in and do an inspection. Continue on this road for 59 miles. Look at this guy ahead of me there. He's completely empty. They pulled him in, you know. They're definitely fishing for something. Because they have the pre-scale up there, you know. I just made it down to South Beloit, Illinois. I'm just finished fueling up over here. Uh, I guess you might be able to hear some wind down here. It's pretty windy down here. But I just figured I'd show you guys for, for the people that never fueled up a big truck how much uh, we have to fuel up for. So here it is. Look at that. 217 gallons and for the amount of $837. The price is $385 nine for a gallon so I was almost empty here but uh, I got them uh, really big uh, super tanks here about 150 gallons a tank so anyways I'll just give you guys an idea on how much uh, we have to spend just to fill up the truck over here so stay tuned uh, we'll be going to Chicago later on alrighty finished uh, having a nice shower that always feels good after a really nice shower you know so now I'm all ready to roll, put the hammer down over to Lebanon, Indiana. But uh, I just wanted to mention there about the fueling there. Uh, we truckers, we have to fuel, like if I have big tanks like I have there, we have to fuel every other day. So that just goes to show you how much money it costs us to run and operate these uh, trucks, you know. And that's, that's not even considering all the repairs that we have to do, you know. So... Anyways, uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, get the truck rolling here. All right, I just got down to uh, Lebanon, Indiana here. Just finished uh, switching my trailer up here. And uh, come to find out that seems like nobody cares these days anymore about uh, checking out the lights on the trailers, you know, because they that, that pisses me off, you know. Uh, drivers just, you know, don't care these days. 
just go here and drop the trailer and somebody else will take care of their problems you know like that really pisses me off like you can see that my uh, my lights are on but if you uh, look on the top of the trailer the light ain't working my trailer is plugged in my uh, my single light is working on the passenger side but the running light is not working you know that, that just frustrates me you know all right the day has just come to an end I'm in uh, Remington uh, Indiana and uh, I just went down to the petrol down here and uh, got my uh, light fix uh, that the other driver failed to fix so you can see I don't know if you can gonna be able to see that on the on the video up there but uh, that light is uh, fixed now uh, it was just a burnt out bulb and uh, I fixed this uh, single light on the side of the trailer here myself. Just the uh, connection was bad, so I'm just gonna show you guys. Put a brand new light in there, put a new connection in there, and everything is working good. So, but anyways, that's gonna come to the end of the day here. So I'm gonna be spending the night here. So uh, follow me down below. Uh, down below in the description there, you'll see uh, some links for my uh, Facebook and Twitter account and uh, Google Plus account. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button and thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.